A good soy will receive your seed with gladness and it will produce plenty of harvest. And you know one of the harvest that is your, your you know one of the harvest that comes from your giving is joy. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Now it's not just it's not just joy to you. It's also joy to the person that received it. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. The Bible says every time you do good work, the person who receives it, please uh, search the scripture and put it up for us. The person who receives it will be so joyful to the point where they will do what they begin to give thanksgiving to the Father on your behalf. Amen. So part, Amen. part of your harvest Amen. package, part of your harvest package, part of your harvest is the joy that your giving produces in the life of somebody or the person who receives Amen. your gift. Amen. You heard what Miss Colette was teaching Amen. last week. She said, she said, your seed is somebody's harvest. Harvest. Yes. Yeah. I want to build, I want to build on that, that with this thought. Your seed is somebody's harvest. Now, if you're trying to give to somebody and they are wondering if they should take it or not, hello, is that a harvest for them? No. 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 If Miss if Miss Colette if Miss Colette goes to a farm in three months, I don't know when. Oh, this is no. It's next year, July, June, July. They harvest the corn. If she goes to a farm, whatever she's planting, and she sees cocoyam in that farm, and she planted cocoyam, will she harvest it? Of course, yes. Uh -huh. Will she be happy? She will because she did sow yes. the seeds of cocoyam. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Are we understanding? Yes, yes mama. mama. Yes, mama. When you get to a point where you have made up your mind, you know this kingdom mystery. It's not about the amount. It's about my willingness. And I've said, yeah. don't reduce your amount. If anything, keep increasing your amount because you know this thing works. When it's a collection, your seed is somebody's harvest. harvest. If you're trying to give somebody something and they are wondering, they are looking at it and say, um, is this? that tells you immediately Chapa, 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 wrong soy, wrong soy, wrong soy. Leave them alone. Mm. Leave them alone. Right. You're giving your seed to somebody. Oh my goodness, thank you. You already know that this is the right soy. If That's you right. are willing to give mm. and somebody is not willing to receive, my dear, check out fast and look for a better mm. soy. It's the same with wow. mentoring. It's the same with relationships. If you're in a relationship with no, no human being should intimidate you to be in a relationship with them. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody should cause you pain in a relationship and think you don't have an opinion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, nobody. Nobody. If your opinion, even if your opinion is that you stay away from them and stop interacting with them, that's good enough. Listen, All right. you want to be willing to give and you want to make sure the person who is receiving is willing to receive. If Amen. you're willing to Amen. give and they are not willing to receive, you're going mm. to get to a place where your harvest will not be as large as it should be. Oh, mm -hmm. hey. It won't. You have to know it. It is the joy. Mm. Can, can somebody pull that scripture? I'll, I'll pull it. I think it should it should be Second Corinthians nine. Second Corinthians chapter nine. Um, I'll have to pause the recording and look for that scripture. We have to see so you can see for yourself. All right, Second Corinthians chapter nine. You read from verse nine. It says, "As it is written, he has dispersed abroad and has given to the poor. His righteousness remains forever. Now he will supply seed to the sower." And supply bread for your food will also supply your seed and increase your your and multiply your seed sown and increase the fruits the fruits of your righteousness. I, I started really far, but that's okay. Verse eleven. You so you will be what and reach mm -hmm. in everything to mm -hmm. all bountifulness, which makes us give thanks. To God, which makes us Amen. give thanks to God, which makes us Amen. give thanks to God. Now, it's not even it. Verse twelve. I want somebody, uh, somebody pull the passion. We'll look at it in passion. Verse twelve says, "For the listen, listen. For the administration of their services means your gift. This is what your gift should do. 
the administration of your services will not only supply the needs of the saints, listen, but is abundant also through many thanksgivings. He has an S. Thanksgivings to God. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Do you see that? Wow. Yes. I saw that. Mom. Meanwhile, yes, we can go on and on, but I want you to read from another translation. Verse 9 to verse 12. Second Corinthians 9. Mom, look Do at you... the voice. Wow. Okay, read the voice, Papa Yes, the read voice the voice says... The voice says, the same one who you pass the seed into their hand of the sower and bring bread to fill out stomach will provide a multitude, will provide and multiply the resources you invest and produce an abundant harvest for your righteous actions. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. Verse 11. You Listen. will be made rich in everything mm-hmm. so that your generosity will spill in every direction. Mm-hmm. It says, through us, your generosity is at work, inspiring praises and thanksgiving mm-hmm. to God. Inspiring. Yes. Mm-hmm. Then 12 mm-hmm. says, the mission will do more than bring water to fellow believers hold on we, we can say the mission should do more <laughs> not yes. just will should do mm-hmm. more Let's talk yes, well. mm-hmm. okay for this mission should do more should do than more. bring yeah. food and water to <laughs> fellow in need it will overflow in a cascade of praise and thanksgiving for exactly. our God. Mm-hmm. How do you know a fetter ground? Check their praise level. Check their joy level. If it is a ministry you're giving into, check how joyful are they, how praiseful are they, how thankful are they, how is their honor level for daddy? I have to check that. Mm. Verse 11 in, in the, um, what's this called? I, I need to Why remember the translation. No, this is another one. God's what's word. Could be God's word. GW. Yes, God writes. Yeah, it's a God will make you rich enough so that you can always be generous. Your generosity will produce. Listen to that. Your generosity or your giving will produce thanksgiving to God. Amen. Amen. This other one says, says that, verse 12 says, your, your giving will produce more and more prayers of thanksgiving to God. Wow. You see that? You can't waste seed. That's how a lot of people waste their seed. I've been giving, been giving, been giving, been giving. See that? If you check your soul, there's nothing recorded in heaven. Nobody is happy that you gave. Mm. Because daddy wants to turn around and be like, wait, what's Papa Scott jumping for? Ah, mama just gave him $20,000. Oh, wow. Mama, we need to account mama. Let's go check mama's account. Let's put something in there for being nice. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's true. He said, one sinner that repents, there's joy in heaven. If you are a child of God, in daddy, in daddy, in daddy, never think you live on earth. Refuse to think you live on earth. You live in him. Mm-hmm. Apostle Paul was so convinced. See, mm-hmm. In him we live and move and have our being. He was so convinced. Sometimes I sleep and I get some stupid dreams. And by the time I get up, my mind is trying to analyze it. I said, hello. I'm not moved by dreams. I'm moved by the word of God. I don't live my dream. My life is not fashioned by the dream world. My life is fashioned and tailored by the word. I begin to speak. If it be good or bad, I've told daddy, I said, daddy, if you're going to send it through the dream realm, please don't send it. I'm not, I'm not interested. Send it through the word. My dream will change. The word will never change. Verse 11. He said, yes, God will give you much so that you can give away much. And when we take your gift to those who need them, they will break out into what? Thanksgiving and praise. 
it will break out into dancing. So it had, don't waste your life. Don't wait your resources. If you give to anybody and they think they are entitled, take it back. It's not scriptural. Mm. Take them, put it here and look for somebody that's joyful. Or oh, that will say thank you. Not thank you to you because you're not looking for praises. You know the principle. You know that if I saw it here, <laughs> this is really, really hard ground. I can go on and on. I'll show the last scripture and you will understand this principle. So two good things. This is verse 12. So two good things that happen as a result of your gifts is one, those, those in need are helped and they overflow with thanks to God. So two things. The people are helped, then they overflow with thanks to God. Let's go to um, ne no, Nehemiah. What's his name? Habakkuk. Habakkuk. You see something? <laughs> it says that clearly that because there was no praise, the vine did not produce because Joel, the scripture is Joel chapter 1 verse 13. We started at verse 10. That's why we missed it. Verse 13. Verse 12 and 13. Anybody wants to read their translation? Joel chapter 1 verse 12. King James says, the vine is dried up. The fig tree languishes. The pomegranate tree and the palm tree also, and the apple tree, even all the trees of the field are withered because joy is withhold away from the sons of men. So the joy that you have, the joy and the excitement that people will re release is what will produce your harvest. You who is giving to them. Amen. It's true. It's deep. When you're giving to some, it's deep. If you're giving to somebody, you're already willing to give mm -hmm. and they are not willing to receive, yeah. there's a problem. There's oh. a problem. Stop yeah. the giving immediately. Okay. Because at the end of the day, you will not receive the bountiful harvest you want to receive. I want to pray for those who give this week. I want to pray. Every time you want to give, be willing to do it. Do it from your heart. Don't do it because somebody gave you a, a coaxing message. Oh, or you listen to this TV preacher. I say, oh, if you don't do it, we are going to get out of TV. You say, oh, let me support God. My dear, you can't support God. <laughs> you can't. That's the truth. You can't. Support us in this, this, this. No, don't. Don't support them. You'll be in trouble. Because God didn't call them. You'll be getting in a big mess. Number two. Wow. How do people, I always say, if daddy caught you, daddy will always, he's too faithful to allow any of his go without. Yeah, she's a responsible father. Come on. He is so responsible. He will not allow his own to go hungry. He said the seed of the righteous will not beg for bread. He won't beg for bread. So who is responsible for you not having your needs met? It's not God. It's not. It's very important. It's not. Let's be let's be wise. Let's be wise. It's not God. Papa Scott, your hand is up. Yes, Mama. What if you 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 have given to um something like that before you know this truth? Mm, it's the past. You see, the days of your ignorance, he uh, he will let go. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. You let go. Oh, it's very important. You, the thing is, first of all, I always tell people that when you get into a situation where you have relationships that you cannot define, that's where the problem is. Wow. I'm not sure if we heard that. Ask yourself, why am I in a relationship with this man or woman of God? Mm -hmm. 
Why am I sowing into this ministry? Don't just sow because you like or you don't like. Don't sow because you are led to sow. Many of us say that. I'm led to sow. Be willing. I tell people, if you're led to sow, it means, it means your heart is too strong. It takes God to tell you to give. Don't you know when to give? Daddy, erase this from my vocabulary. It's very true. Why do they have to coax you to give? You know, I don't have a problem with people say, oh my God, um, the, this man of God, the, 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 the kind of dupe or the fake this person. I say, listen, the only person that they will permit for somebody else to dupe or to do 419 is the person that has decided to be crafty. It's not everyone. As I always say in this family, we don't lose anything. We don't. And I don't, I'm not talking about right. people that steal. If you steal from the Lord, you can lose all. One day, the thief mm. himself can come and steal everything. Mm -hmm. hmm. ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for those who gave this gift. Mm -hmm. We're so 